Sure, what's up guys? This might be the coolest lamp I have ever made. It spins, it glows and the illusion it creates is absolutely insane. The best part, if you have a 3D printer, it's pretty easy to build. So this is my design. I've already made a video on a previous version of this lamp but this one's improved. It lights up better and create even more mesmerizing effect. Let's slice it and get it printed using my 3D printers. Alright, all the parts came out pretty clean, assembly is super easy, just attach the spiral section to the base like this, then snap on the bottom lid and that's it. Now I really wanna test if this thing actually spins or not, for that we'll need a N20 gear motor. Let's install the motor and see if it works. I'm using my variable power supply to power this thing up and look at that, it's working pretty cool. It creates this nice illusion which looks really fascinating. Now we know that it works so we can move on to the next step. But before that, I wanna give a shout out to LTM for sponsoring this video. The go-to PCB design software for makers and pros alike. With LTM Designer you get powerful, easy to use tool to design high quality PCBs faster than ever. And with LTM 365, you can connect your entire team from mechanical designers to manufacturing specialists all in one cloud platform. It streamlines your electronic journey from concept to production. If you're ready to try LTM Designer, as a member of YouTube audience, you can get free trial by signing up below. Make sure to check it out. Coming back to the video, now it's time for the electronics. First thing first, we need a microcontroller. I'm using the VMOS T1 Mini for this project because I want to control everything wirelessly from my phone. Next up we got a small motor driver and finally ARGB LED strip. With these three components you can follow my older lamp setup and it will work just fine. But this time I wanted to take it one step further and make everything look cleaner and more polished. So I decided to design a custom PCB. I designed the PCB using LTM Designer then ordered it from JLCBCB one of the most affordable and reliable PCB manufacturer out there. Starting at just $2 for 5 PCBs, they offer fast production, great quality and worldwide shipping. Whether you are just starting out or already a pro, TLC makes it super easy to bring your PCB ideas to life. Just upload your Gerbo file, select your PCB specs and place your order. The PCB arrived within a week and as always, the quality is top notch. I also order SMT stencil to make assembly process smoother and more professional. Let's get this PCB ready and complete the build. This is actually my second time doing this so please no judging. First, I place the main PCB in the center then added two side PCBs to support the stencil. I carefully align the stencil with the solder pads and secure with some masking tape. Next, I applied some solder paste, not the best quality, sorry about that. Then I spread evenly using a scraper. You can also use a credit card or anything similar for this step. Once it was spread nice and even, I removed the stencil and look at that. We got a perfectly pasted PCB, ready for components. Now let's place the components and complete the board. Alright guys, all the components are in place so now it's time for soldering. Ideally, I would use a hot plate for this but I don't own one because I don't do this kind of work often. However, I got this beast and it might just do the trick. So I held up the iron upside down, carefully placed the PCB on top and then power it on. I waited for the solder to melt, turn it off and let everything cool down. And guess what, it actually worked. No damage to the board and a clean, solid solder job. However, I can't recommend this method so please don't use it. Now let's solder the rest of the components. Yeah. 
Alright guys, the main board is all set. Now I just need to upload the code to bring this thing to life. These are the final codes, so let's quickly flash them. Looks like it's working perfectly. Everything is ready, so let's jump into the final assembly and complete the build. Ok guys the project is finally done and I gotta say it turned out pretty awesome. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Now let's power it up using a 5 volt adapter and watch the magic happen. As you can see it creates this beautiful spiral hypnotizing illusion with a decent amount of brightness. The best part you can control the color, effect, motor speed and direction straight from your phone or PC as long as it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network. It gives off a beautiful glow but the real magic happens on the ceiling. It creates this unreal almost dreamlike magical effect. Pretty cool right? I actually made an improved version but weirdly the older one was way quieter so I'm not super happy with that part. Still I have shared all the files for free in the description so feel free to check them out and maybe even help to make it better. That's it for this video, if you have any questions or suggestions drop them in the comments section and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more fun projects. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one until then bye bye.